Hello and welcome to our video test of the Black Swift Raven self-defense walking stick. Uh, the Raven is 36 inches long, descending from a solid polycarbonate handle down through a fiberglass shaft which uh, taper, tapers quite dramatically um, to a very narrow and, and slim point. The um, ball handle offers us a very close approximation of the traditional Vigny style of, of self-defense walking stick, uh, very much an asymmetrical balance. Um, of course, back in the days of the Batitsu Club, the cane would have been uh, rattan and the handle would have been made of, of steel. The um, narrow taper down the other end does make it a little bit difficult to hold on to. That's something that you need to get used to. Um, the natural adjustment there is to shift into a, something closer to a sabre grip, which offers more control. But of course, a sabre grip is easily disarmed uh, when you're dealing with a, a blunt weapon rather than a sword. The interesting part, though, at the extreme end is that because the tip is, is so um, small and narrow, it really focuses the force of thrusting attacks into, uh, into a pretty devastating move. Um, one note on that, though, is that if you require the cane for stability, if you actually need the cane to walk, the um, plasticized rubber or rubberized plastic uh, tip is inclined to slip a little bit on slick surfaces like... Um, polished wood, but normally for walking around a city on, on concrete and, and pavement it's fine. Yeah. And we're now going through some of the uh, basic canonical Bartitsu sets. This one is the, the famous Guard by Distance. And really using this exercise to assess how hard we can strike with the ball handle end of the cane, which is obviously the, the business end, on a uh, through weapon fencing mask. And it becomes apparent immediately that you can't strike with um, with full force. That would um, be inclined to sort of destroy the mask. So the level that we're demonstrating here is about the, the level of speed and power that uh, that can be safely applied. Reversing that now and striking with the ball handle to the padded glove, you really do have to be careful. Um, the momentum is such that if you struck hard, um, even despite the glove, it would really damage your partner's hand. On the other hand, um, striking down with the tip end, that's easy enough. You can deliver a certain degree of force there without uh, risking their health and safety. Working now through another of the canonical sets, this one involves a strike with the tip end into the mask and then a cutting strike across the kneecap with the wall of the cane. And again, this is about the safe level of uh, speed and force that you can apply wearing this level of, of protective gear. In terms of defence, uh, here we have uh, defences with the Raven against full power strikes with a two-handed um, hardwood club. No problem at all if the Raven stops at the end of space. And again, this is about the highest level of force that you'd want to apply on a, uh, a friendly training partner. Now working on some improvised um, defences from the high double-handed guard, from variations of the single-handed guards and so forth. Again, really just testing the agility of the weapon and testing its um, safe striking ability against the padded gauntlet. And you'll notice when you when you use this, uh, the Raven, it is a very agile weapon indeed. Holding it um, by the ball handle end as, as we are here, it feels a lot like a fencing foil. It's, it's very light, very maneuverable, very precise. Holding it by the tip end, of course, and striking with the ball uh, it's effectively a mace, it hits extremely hard. And that, again, that asymmetrical balance is very much um, part and parcel of the Batutsu stick fighting style. May also be worth noting that um, we've travelled with the canes, we've taken them on board aeroplanes and so on. Um, it doesn't look like a weapon, it uh, presents a very low profile indeed. Because it's so slim, because it's matte black in colour, um, no second glances, no uh, no problems there. Using the cane now as a can opener, or sometimes referred to as a crowbar, in close combat, um, you'll notice that it doesn't flex at all, which is which is the necessary thing for this type of maneuver. It is effectively, it feels like uh, wielding a much heavier, uh, solid hardwood cane.
using the bar strike and you'll notice there's essentially no flex at all even when striking with the center of the cane. So in sum, the Black Swift Raven walking stick, um, not recommended for Batitsu sparring, um, it's, it's too dangerous for that purpose, but of course that isn't what it's designed for. Um, for partner work, um, any sort of partner drill, working through the set players, even improvised um, controlled self-defense work, um, an excellent training tool. And if you are interested in Batitsu as a self-defense system, as opposed to historical recreation and so on, and you're looking for a reliable carry cane that has a low profile that's really optimized for the style, I would absolutely recommend the Black Swift Raven. It, it's really very impressive. Thanks for watching.